Нет, никогда такого не видел, Боун подхватил. Nay, never was such a sight seen, Bond took up the strain. И более того, это был такой крупный медведь. And furthermore, it was such a large bear. Колдовство, проговорил Углук. Witchcraft, uh, Gluck suggested. Я не знаю, ответил Боун. I know not, Bon replied. Я рассказываю только то, что мои глаза видели. I tell only of what my eyes beheld. И через некоторое время медведь стал слабым и уставшим. And after a while the bear grew weak and tired. Потому что он был очень тяжелым. For he was very heavy. И он прыгал вокруг с чрезвычайным неистовством. And he had jumped about with exceeding violence. Он пошел прочь вдоль берегового льда. He went off along the shore ice. Мотая головой медленно из стороны в сторону. Shaking his head slowly from side to side. И садясь опять и опять повизжать и порычать. And sitting down ever and again to squeal and cry. Акиш последовал за медведем. And Kish followed after the bear. А мы последовали за Кишем. And we followed after Kish. И тот день и три дня еще мы шли следом. And for that day and three days more we followed. Медведь стал слабым. The bear grew weak. И никогда не прекращал кричать от боли. And never ceased crying from his pain. Это было заклинание, углук воскликнул. It was a charm. Ах, Глак exclaimed. Конечно, это было заклинание. Surely it was a charm. Вполне могло быть. It may well be. И Бим сменил Боуна. And Bim relieved Bon. Медведь блуждал. The bear wandered. То в эту сторону, то в ту. Now this way and now that. Мечась то назад, то вперед. Doubling back and forth. И пересекая свой след кругами. And crossing his trail in circles. 
Так что в конце он был около того места, где Киш первый раз встретил его. So that at the end he was near where Kish had first come upon him. К этому времени он был совсем больной, этот медведь. By this time he was quite sick, the bear. И не мог более ползти. And could crawl no farther. Поэтому Киш подошел близко и проткнул его копьем до смерти. So Kish came up close and speared him to death. А потом спросил Клош Кван. And then Клош Кван demanded. Потом мы оставили Киша снимать шкуру с медведя. Then we left Kish skinning the bear. И побежали, чтобы эти новости об убийстве могли быть рассказаны. And came running that the news of the killing might be told. И во второй половине того дня And in the afternoon of that day, женщины притащили мясо медведя. The women hauled in the meat of the bear. В то время как мужчины сидели на созванном совете. While the men sat in council assembled. Когда Киш вернулся, When Kish arrived, гонец был послан к нему. A messenger was sent to him, приглашая его прийти на совет, bidding him come to the council. Но он послал ответ. But he sent reply, говоря, что он был голодный и уставший. Saying that he was hungry and tired. А также, что его иглу большая и удобная и могла бы вместить много людей. Also that his igloo was large and comfortable and could hold many men. И любопытство было так сильно у мужчин. And curiosity was so strong on the men. Что весь совет That the whole council, во главе с Клошкваном, Клош Кван to the fore, поднялся и пошел в иглу Киши. Rose up and went to the igloo of Kish. Он обедал. He was eating. Но он встретил их с почтением. But he received them with respect. И усадил их согласно их рангу. And seated them according to their rank. 
Айкига была горда и смущена по очереди. Айкига was proud and embarrassed by turns. Но Киш был совершенно спокоен. But Kish was quite composed. И Клош Кван изложил сведения, принесенные Бимом и Боуном. Клош Кван recited the information brought by Bim and Bon. И в завершении этого сказал строгим голосом. And at its close said in a stern voice. Итак, желательное объяснение, о Киш. So explanation is wanted, о Киш. твоего способа охоты of thy manner of hunting есть ли в нем колдовство is there witchcraft in it киш взглянул на него и улыбнулся киш looked up and smiled Это не для мальчика знать, что бы то ни было из колдовства. It is not for a boy to know out of witches. И в колдовстве я ничего не смыслю. And of witches I know nothing. Я только придумал способ. I have but devised a means. С помощью которого я могу убить полярного медведя с легкостью, вот и все. Whereby I may kill the ice bear with ease, that is all. Это смекалка, не колдовство. It be headcraft, not witchcraft. И каждый может. And may any man? Каждый. Any man. Наступило долгое молчание. There was a long silence. Мужчины глядели на лица друг друга. The men looked in one another's faces. А Киш продолжал есть. And Kish went on eating. И ты расскажешь нам о Киш? And wilt thou tell us, O Kish? Клош Кван наконец спросил дрожащим голосом. Клош Кван finally asked in a tremulous voice. Да, я расскажу тебе. Yay, I will tell thee. Киш закончил высасывание мозговой кости. Киш finished sucking a marrow bone. И поднялся на ноги. And rose to his feet. Это довольно просто. It is quite simple. Смотри. 
Behold. Он поднял тонкую полоску китового уса. He picked up a thin strip of whalebone. И показал ее всем. And showed it to them. Концы были острыми, как иглы. The ends were sharp as needle points. Эту полоску он скатал осторожно. The strip he coiled carefully. Пока она не исчезла в его руке. Till it disappeared in his hand. Затем внезапно освободил ее. Then, suddenly releasing it. Она сразу распрямилась. It sprang straight again. Он подобрал кусок тюленьего жира. He picked up a piece of blubber. Вот так он сказал. Нужно взять маленький кусочек тюленевого жира. So, he said, one takes a small chunk of blubber. Так и так делается в нем ямка. Thus, and thus makes it hollow. Потом в эту ямку кладется китовый уз. Then into the hollow goes the whalebone. Вот так хорошенько свернутый. So, tightly coiled. И другой кусочек жира пристраивается сверху на этот китовый уз. And another piece of blubber is fitted over the whalebone. После этого он выставляется наружу. After that it is put outside. Где он замерзает в маленький круглый шарик. Where it freezes into a little round ball. Медведь глотает этот маленький круглый шарик. The bear swallows the little round ball. Жир плавится. The blubber melts. Китовый ус с его острыми концами распрямляется. The whalebone with its sharp ends stands out straight. Медведь становится больным. The bear gets sick. И когда медведь очень болен, And when the bear is very sick. Почему бы тебе и не убить его копьем? Why, you kill him with a spear. Это довольно просто. It is quite simple. И каждый сказал что-то по-своему, и все поняли. And Ah uh Gluck said, Oh, and Klosh Kwan said, Ah. And each said something after his own manner, and all understood.
и это сказание о Кише. And this is the story of Kish, который жил давно на краю Полярного моря. Who lived long ago on the rim of the polar sea? И потому что он применял смекалку. Because he exercised headcraft. Они колдовство. And not witchcraft. Он поднялся из самой жалкой иглы до вождя своей деревни. He rose from the meanest igloo to be head man of his village. И в течение всех лет, что он прожил, and through all the years that he lived, как рассказывают, его племя было процветающим. It is related, his tribe was prosperous. И ни вдова, ни слабый не плакали громко ночью из-за нехватки мяса. And neither widow nor weak one cried aloud in the night because there was no meat. Nay, never was such a sight seen. Bon took up the strain, and furthermore, it was such a large bear. Witchcraft, a Gluck suggested. I know not, Bon replied. I tell you of what my eyes beheld. And after a while, the bear grew weak and tired, for he was very heavy, and he had jumped about with exceeding violence. And he went off along the shore ice, shaking his head slowly from side to side, and sitting down ever and again to squeal and cry. And Kish followed after the bear, and we followed after Kish, and for that day and three days more we followed. The bear grew weak, and never ceased crying from his pain. It was a charm. Ugluck exclaimed, "Surely it was a charm. It may well be." And Bim relieved Bon. The bear wandered, now this way and now that, doubling back and forth and crossing his trail in circles, so that at the end he was near where Kish had first come upon him. By this time he was quite sick. The bear. And could crawl no farther. So Kish came up close, and speared him to death. And then, Klosh Kwan demanded. Then we left Kish skinning the bear, and came running that the news of the killing might be told. And in the afternoon of that day, the women hauled in the meat of the bear, while the men sat in council assembled. When Kish arrived, a messenger was sent to him, bidding him come to the council. But he sent reply, saying that he was hungry and tired, and that his igloo was large and comfortable, and could hold many men. And curiosity was so strong on the men that the whole council, Klosh Kwan to the fore, rose up and went to the igloo of Kish. He was eating, but he received them with respect. And seated them according to their rank. Aikiga was proud and embarrassed by turns, but Kish was quite composed. Klosh Kwan recited the information brought by Bim and Bon, and at its close said in a stern voice, "So explanation is wanted, O Kish, of thy manner of hunting. Is there witchcraft in it?" Kish looked up and smiled. 
Nay, O oh, Kloshquan, it is not for a boy to know aught of witches, and of witches I know nothing. I have but devised the means whereby I may kill the ice bear with ease, that is all. It be headcraft, not witchcraft. And may any man? Any man. There was a long silence. The men looked in one another's faces, and Kish went on eating. And? And? And wilt thou tell us, O Kish? Klosh Kwan finally asked in a tremulous voice. Yea, I will tell thee. Kish finished sucking a marrow bone and rose to his feet. It is quite simple. Behold! He picked up a thin strip of whalebone and showed it to them. The ends were sharp as needle points. The strip he coiled carefully, till it disappeared in his hand. Then suddenly releasing it, it sprang straight again. He picked up a piece of blubber. So, he said, one takes a small chunk of blubber, thus, and thus makes it hollow. Then into the hollow goes the whalebone, so tightly coiled, and another piece of blubber is fitted over the whalebone. After that it is put outside, where it freezes into a little round ball. The bear swallows the little round ball, the blubber melts, the whalebone with its sharp ends stands out straight. The bear gets sick, and when the bear is very sick, why, you kill him with a spear. It's quite simple. And Ugluk said, Oh! And Klashquan said, Ah! And each said something after his own manner, and all understood. And this is the story of Kish, who lived long ago on the rim of the polar sea. Because he exercised headcraft and not witchcraft, he rose from the meanest igloo to be head man of his village, and through all the years that he lived, it is related, his tribe was prosperous. And neither widow nor weak one cried aloud in the night because there was no meat. End of The Story of Kish by Jack London This recording is in the public domain. Read by Alan Davis Drake